Have you just launched a Google Ads campaign but you're not seeing impressions or clicks come through? Or maybe it's a case where you're not really seeing enough impressions or enough clicks come through in order to generate lead volume that you need in order to make this worthwhile. In this video, I'm gonna talk about 12 different things that you need to look at in order to determine how to fix this issue. And I'm gonna give you some little hacks and tips along the way to go ahead and fix this. So if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media and I help local service-based businesses generate leads from Google Ads. So if you are spending at least $2,000 a month and you're looking for an audit or managed services, check out the link below and I'd be more than happy to have a discussion with you. Now, the first thing that I want you to look at when we're trying to diagnose no impressions or low impressions is your bid strategy. So if you have a new campaign, I want you to First of all, understand what a learning period is. And a learning period is the time that it takes for Google when you are using smart bidding to really get ramped up with the constraints that you've given it, given the different auctions that it's entering. Smart bidding is maximize conversions, maximize clicks, anything leveraging Google's smart bidding algorithm. Um, target ROAS, target CPA. And if you're using those bid strategies right out of the gate and you don't have any conversion data, it's a brand new net new account, sometimes it can take Google some time to really adjust. So that's why I need you to first of all understand what a learning period is and that I typically recommend clients a learning period to understand that a learning period should take anywhere between 10 to 14 days to really fully adjust and, and learn given the constraints that you've given it. So first of all, understand what the uh, learning period is. The second thing is looking at your bid strategy. If you are using a smart bidding strategy right out of the gate and you have no conversion data, it can kind of choke up Google sometimes and it might not allow it to spend or accrue data because Google's trying to get conversions at a certain price or try to maximize conversions given certain constraints that you've given it, but it's not able to actually get anywhere because it doesn't have any conversion data to go off of. It's not really smart because you haven't given it really any data to be smart. Um, so, that's why if you've had your campaign in a smart bidding strategy that's not really getting anywhere, I do recommend to switch to more manual approach, manual CPC, and that's what I have here. Um, switch things back to manual CPC for a little bit, start to gain more tractions. Once you've accrued at least 20 conversions in the last 30 days, then it is probably a smarter idea to switch things over to a smart bidding strategy in order to reach your campaign goals. Um, I've seen where I've launched campaigns sometimes using smart bidding that doesn't have any conversion data that does perfectly fine. But in some instances, based off of the constraints and the targeting in the account that you've had set up, it can kind of choke the campaign and not allow it to really do anything. So that's why I do recommend to potentially look into your bid strategy. Third thing that I want you to look at is evaluating your keywords. If you have keywords in your account build that are not generating any volume, that's a red flag. You wanna look at your status here. And by the way, the account that you're seeing on the screen, this is a super old account. That's why you're seeing broad match modified. You're seeing lots of notifications in here. This is an account that has been inactive for years. Uh, so just as a heads up, um, just wanted to use this as an example, prime example for you. Uh, but here, you want to look at your status column under the, um, under the keywords. And if you have a lot here that say not eligible, it's tons of not eligible, that's a clue that your keywords that you've chosen are just not generating enough volume. And you want to go then look in the keyword planner or ads and add some more keywords that actually have volume so you could start um, attracting your ideal clients to or ideal leads to come uh, to you. Uh, the, the fourth thing that I want you to look at is your negative keyword conflicts. 
And you might be wondering what's a negative keyword conflict. A negative keyword conflict is when you have a negative keyword in your account, you're telling Google, hey, don't show me for this keyword. Let's say, for example, aged, assist, aged care assistance is a keyword, but you also have it as a negative keyword. That means that your ad's not going to show because there's a conflict between the two. So you want to make sure that you don't have age care assistance as a negative keyword or anything of that that would be blocking that out. Um, how would you know if you have a negative keyword conflict? Typically, you'd be able to identify that by going to the recommendations tab. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm not the biggest fan of the recommendations tab, but one really great thing that comes out of the recommendations tab is um, it will give you some recommendations here for uh, negative keyword conflicts. And if it's telling you here that you have a negative keyword conflict, which in this example, there's none, but if there is, it's gonna show you, and then all you have to do is just accept it and it's gonna remove that negative keyword uh, from your negative keyword list. The other thing that I want you to do back in the keywords section is, if you're using all exact match and you're not really using phrase or even broad, you might want to consider opening up your match types if you are not getting a lot of volume. So first of all, I want you to fix, you fix this by potentially adding in new keywords, but if you're using all exact match, you're really limiting yourself and you could get capture more demand by opening up and broadening things. I'd probably prioritize it with exact, then phrase, then broad. Uh, match, but broad match would be my lowest of priorities, especially if I'm operating on a pretty low budget, $5,000 and low and below, I would keep it more exact and then potentially opening it up to phrase match. Um, the next thing that I want you to do is look at your audiences, devices, and location exclusions. So audiences would be here. Look at your exclusions. See if you have any audiences that you've excluded and was that intentional? If you're excluding your prime audience for some reason, that could also be why you're not getting um, enough clicks. Um, and then another thing too would be your locations. Are you targeting the right locations and do you have location exclusions that conflict with the areas that you want to target. So let's say you're trying to target Beverly Hills, California, but you've got a location exclusion for Beverly Hills, California, or you've got California as an exclusion. If you've got California as an exclusion, everything in California on your targeted list is going to be blocked. So do keep that in mind. And then also check under devices. If you have any devices blocked, this case, I have tablets blocked, which is fine, but if you've got mobile or desktop blocked, you might wanna take a look at that again and, and identify why that's the case. And if that was not intentional, that could be another reason why you're just not getting any impressions. The next thing that I want you to look at is um, look at your bid limits. If you're using any type of smart bidding strategy, In this case, I'm not, but let me try to open one up and, and show you an example. Under your campaign, if you go to your campaign and then you go to settings, if you've set a maximum bid limit of like a dollar, that's gonna choke your campaign, especially if you're average cost per click is $20 or significantly higher, you might want to tell Google, hey, this is the most I'm willing to spend, but you're not going to get anywhere if you have such a aggressive bid limit and Google's just not even going to care about you if you've set a bid limit. So check your campaigns, go to settings. If you're using a smart bidding strategy, that's either, um, typically it's going to be maximize clicks where you can set bid limits um, maximize conversions. You can set a target CPA. If you've got a really, really, really aggressive target CPA, 
Google's probably not going to be able to really give you much for it. So make sure that whatever you're setting in here is realistic or don't put any bid limits, but monitor it very carefully or any limits just in general. Um, the next thing that I want you to look at is going to be your ads. And I'm sure that you saw if you were looking at my screen earlier that the ads in this account are actually all disapproved. See, destination's not working, destination's not working. So that's, that's the reason. And if we, if we were doing an audit, that would be the reason why this account uh, is not getting any impressions, even though it's on. That's one of the main reasons. Um, and then there's also billing issues that I'll talk about later. But go to your ads and then go to status and see if it's eligible or not and what the issue could potentially be. The next thing I want you to look at is your policy issues. So I want you to go to admin. Actually, one second, I need to see. There we go, troubleshooting. Yeah, it will be under tools. Google's moved around things so many times, so it's sometimes can be hard to find things, but you would go to tools, troubleshooting, and then policy manager. This is a key place that you'd want to look at pretty often if you're not serving or there's issues with your ads, because it will show you why. Um, and then in this case, it's saying destination is not working. I've got 556 ads that are disapproved. And then you can appeal it if you disagree. But in this case, I agree with it. Um, it's just that the landing page was, um, was deactivated for some time. And then, you know, some other issues, if you're not adhering with Google's policies, it will tell you why. And if you want to appeal because you feel like you are adhering to Google's policies, you could do that as well. And just go through this list here where Google has flagged you for certain things and um, that should um, contribute to, to helping you fixing um, this issue. The second to last thing that I want to address is actually going back to the keywords. And this is the quality score evaluation. So you want to go to campaigns and then you're going to go to search keywords. And then we're going to pull in quality score. And then I'm also going to pull in these other metrics, expected click through rate, landing page experience and ad relevance. These three, these three make up quality score. If you watch my videos before, you know that my feelings on quality score here, there, I don't have any real data to show because it's been so long. But if your quality scores are pretty low, let's say five and below, you need to work on improving them. But don't get too attached. I would say like, just make sure that your ads have the keywords in it, and then those keywords are on contents also on your landing page, um, and that you're using all your ad assets. Don't spend too much time, I'd say, stressing out over this, but this also could be contributing to the fact that you're getting no impressions or clicks because your quality scores might be too low. And if your quality score is five or below, look at these three columns here, and then if you're expected click through rates low, work on adding more assets, your landing page experience is low, then look at improving your landing page experience, making it faster, putting more, beefing it up with better content. Ad relevance has to do with the ad message, uh, the keyword to um, ad message match to make sure that the ad relevance aligns with what the user is looking for. And then the last thing that I want you to look at as you're identifying the issues here would be your look, uh, ad schedule. 
you have an ad schedule that's blocking your ideal customers from even seeing your ads during the peak times of day? Seems pretty obvious. Sometimes I take over accounts where it's not that obvious to the client and then we take a look at this and boom, it's just, it had to do with the ad scheduling. Um, and then when you log into your account, by the way, typically a lot of the big issues are going to be flagged by having like a banner at the top. So this is also a core issue with this existing account. The reason why it's not serving number one is because the ads are disapproved. Number two is complete payment, uh, account activity. This is just an issue. They need to make a payment on the account. And then number three is the account isn't active. So we have to reactivate the account. Um, so that's just the case for this account. Usually you will get a notification at the top for really big, like billing issues or disapprovals, but not always. Uh, so keep that in mind, um, as you are trying to navigate this situation, but hopefully these 12 tips helped you in identifying what the issue could potentially be. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'd be more than happy to, um, see you in the next video and bye for now.